you might have seen photos of lovers on Instagram and WhatsApp on the last Valentine's Day. We can consider capturing the moment and act of preserving love. You know, it's not a new thing. People built wonders like the marvelous Taj Mahal and, and the luxurious hanging gardens of Babylon, some composed poetry, songs, and other forms of art for their love. They even get tattoos of their loved one's name. Have you ever considered doing something similar? Not tattoo, but other way. The speaker in the sonnet, One Day I Wrote Her Name, also wants to preserve his love. Therefore, one day he writes his lover's name on the sand at a seashore. The waves come and wash it away. He writes her name for the second time and the tide comes and wipes it again. When his lover notices his attempt, she comments that it is fruitless. Just like her name, she is too there for a while. The speaker replies that nothing will happen to her. He declares insignificant things will decay into dust. None will remember them, but she will live forever. He will make people remember her for generations, even after her death. Poems about her virtues will make it possible. His verse will write her glorious name in heaven. Their love will survive, even if death destroys everything in the world. Through the power of poetry, they will surpass death. So, he has found a way to immortalize his love. But what about you? Therefore, Sonnet 75 or One Day I Wrote Her Name is about the transience of life and man's desire to achieve immortality. I have discussed the theme in the blog post. This theme is similar to one of Shakespeare's famous sonnets, Sonnet 18. If you are interested in exploring this further, you can watch this video.